Here's a video from one of my supporters, Wes Yasso. Thank you so much for your support, buddy. Appreciate that. In fact, thank you so much for everyone's support on this channel, whether by buying me a coffee or by Patreon donations or YouTube membership. I really, really appreciate you all chipping in. It's, it, it's, it's awesome. Thank you so much. So if you do have a question, then do fire away and I'll see if I can answer it. Wes Yasso wanted to know, hey, what happens if I wanted to make an expression out of multiple dials and put all that onto my own combined dial? And then bonus points, how do I share that? Or so how do I save it and share it out with others? How do I do that? So let's figure this out together. It is not something that I have tried myself, but hey, let's let's just go make this happen. So the solution to the puzzle is to create yourself a controller. And that is an empty dial. I'm going to go and do that here. I have a morphs category from my previous character conversion. I'm going to go and put this into edit mode. I'm going to go and right click and choose create a new property. And that's going to make a dialog pop up that lets me create my own morph dial, so to say. So I'm going to call this one test expression and the label will follow that. So we'll talk about that in a moment. I'm going to leave the path under morphs. That just means that this is going to be created here exactly where I am already. And this is all I need to do. I think I don't want the minimum value to be minus one. So I'm going to go and set that to zero right away. And there is an option to say, would you like to use percent or not? The DAS expressions don't use percent, so it's personal preference. I'm going to leave it at percent for now. Hit create, and that is it. That's my slider here. So currently, it doesn't do anything. But what we can do is use the ERC freeze technique to freeze something onto this dial that is currently dialed in. Now, I would strongly recommend you do this in your base figure. So with the figure in the base configuration. So I currently have a custom character dialed in. And if I do that and give her expressions, then it'll be really difficult to do the ERC freeze because we would have to unselect my custom property. So what you probably want to do with your figure selected up here, I don't really need anything else anymore. I'm going to go and delete everything other than just the figure. And with the figure selected, I'm going to head over to edit object or figure, doesn't matter restore, restore figure pose. And when I do that, you'll see that the whole figure snaps back into the A pose in the basic Genesis shape sooner or later. There we go. That's now the Genesis base figure with a texture applied and some clothing on, but that's okay. As long as it's the base shape, that is exactly what we want. So now I can go ahead and craft my expression. Perhaps you've got some expressions saved that we, that you want to use for this, but I don't, and they're going to be under the head. This is Genesis 8 or 8.1 but it'll work the same way on Genesis 9 as well. So perhaps I'm going to mix a little bit of concentrate, like say a little bit, say 80% of concentrate and maybe 50% of confuse. Let's say this is my expression and I want to marry that up on my own dial here. So this is my expression. Head over back to where that dial is. So mine's under morphs. Put this into 100%. Then we go into edit mode again with the right click. And then we right click on my test expression slider and hit ERC freeze. And this brings up this dialog now that shows me these two values were dialed in. So these are my actual expression poses here. But if you had a custom character dialed in, in addition to that, you'll see a lot more stuff here. If you had a pose dialed in, you see a lot, lot more stuff down here. And you don't want that to be married up onto the slider because otherwise Dash Studio is going to dial that in and literally save it onto the slider. We don't want to do that. So base figure with no pose other than what you want to change. So in our case, the, the two expression dials. Hit accept. And that is, after a bit of calculation, that. Now if I go and get out of edit mode, I can go and move the slider and you can see that the expression changes to exactly what I needed it to be. And just to verify what happens if we set the slider to the very top here, if we go to currently used, we can see that we have a lot of stuff that is being dialed in, but that's because these two expressions actually relied on other stuff to be dialed in. So there's a lot of things that I have just saved onto this one slider. So very, very cool. So I hope this soft part one of the question, how do I marry up expressions onto a single slider? Now, question number two was, how do I save this out so that I can share it with people? Because if you save this as a pose, then the 
original two sliders will be saved, but your custom slider isn't going to show up. So for that, we need to think like a content creator. And the first thing, and I'm sorry this is so complicated, but that stems the rules with Dash Studio. You have to create yourself a brand new folder somewhere. I'm going to use my desktop and I'm going to call that expression test. You can call it anything you like, but remember where it is and it needs to be empty. So there's currently nothing in here. And this needs to be mapped as a new content directory inside Das Studio. So on the content library tab, head over here to Das Studio formats, right click on that and say add a base directory. And that is where you're going to have to find your empty folder. So expression test, select that. And that kind of collapses all your folders here. That's okay. If you open them up, expression test is going to be at the very bottom or your, your folder is going to be at the very bottom here. We don't have to do anything with this folder right now. You can. You can save your expression presets in there. Mainly what we're going to use this for is to tell Dash Studio where to save this morph data. That's the next step in our saga where we're going to head over to File, Save As, Support Asset, morph asset because our empty property is going to be treated like a morph. It's not a morph technically, it's a controller, but it'll be saved as such. So click that and then this crazy dialog opens up in which we're going to go and pick the new asset directory, which is not base figures, which is going to be the one that we added on there. So expression test, make sure you select that. Vendor name, product name, that is important. Maybe it's part of a product for you and uh, call it something. I'm just going to leave it product, but you know, call it whatever you like. Then you open up your figure and you find the position at which the morph was saved. So mine was literally under morphs, but you can't change that. Just for me, I know where that is. Head over here to morphs and in morphs, I have my expression test. So you select the thing you want to save. In my case, it's just one property. But if you had like 20 of these sliders made, then you can also go and you know select all 20 of them. Hit accept. And that has now saved that. You don't see anything popping up in your user facing content library here. You can put that in there if you wanted to add this in here. Now you can go and save yourself a post preset, but it's not necessary for the slider to be saved. So just to show you what's happened here, Das2 has created a data directory. In it, we have Das3D. In it, we have Genesis 8. In it, we have Female 8.1. In it, we have Morphs. In it, we have my vendor name. And then in it, we have the product name. And in it, we have the actual file that gets loaded when a new figure gets loaded so that your slider comes back. In fact, just to prove a point, I'm going to go and delete my Genesis female figure here and load myself a new one in has to be of the same generation. So I can't save an expression slider for Genesis 8 female and then bring it into 8 male, or I can't save one for Genesis 9 and then expect it to be there in Genesis 8. That's not how it works. So this is my base figure here. If I head over to parameters, I can see that my test expression slider is here and it now goes and pulls the same expression. That is how that works. I hope this was helpful and I hope this lets you now go and take that folder and share it with people. If they go and extract it into their content library or if they map it as a content library, then you will see the same slider and it will also be able to use any of the post presets that you save that will reference this slider. I hope this was helpful and I hope I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.